food there. The food there was really good. Food. Were you able to eat vegan in Brazil? No. Um, I ate a lot of beans. The beans there were so freaking good. Um, what else? There's a lot of fish there. Um, actually, all of the food was really good. The only one that I said that I cannot say was good is uh, I got a dessert pizza on the last day and it was like Nutella and strawberries. And I was like, oh, it sounds great. Like on pizza crust. Yum. Um, but there was mozzarella cheese underneath all the chocolate. And I was really conf Joe and I were both really confused by that. And it wasn't good. But all of the other food that I ate there was so good. Like, they had really good stews, um, they had really good meat, they had really good fish, they had really good beans, um, rice. That's a classic here? Oh. That's not normal here? Oh. Well, now I'm confused. <laughs> How was the termite? I did eat termites, uh, at the- at the indigenous community. Um, they were... Fine. They really- they tasted like corn nuts. But then they also wanted me to eat a, uh, grub. Which is like this, like this thick and like probably this big. And uh, it's like a, it's like giant beetle grub. And they said it tastes like coconut, but there's just a lot of like juice in there and it like explodes. And I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. It was also alive. So I just, I couldn't do it. I felt really bad. One of the last days we were there, me, Flip and Joe were all going to get dinner. And I wasn't here for this conversation. I was just there for the tail end. But, um... Joe and Flip were sitting in the lobby talking and this lady leaned over and she's like, oh my God, do you guys speak English? And they're like, yeah. And she was on a cruise with her husband and her husband got it. She's from Texas. She's on a cruise with her husband. Her husband got an infection on the cruise and then they dropped them in Manaus. And her husband's in the hospital and she had to get this hotel by herself. And now they have to get arrangements to fly back to Texas. Isn't that crazy? Like, I- I can't imagine- It was, like, sometimes overwhelming for me, and I was very prepared to be there. And I had Joe there. And Eduardo, and, like, other people who knew me and, like, spoke English. You know, I- I cannot imagine being dropped there with your husband being not there because he's in the hospital, and not speaking any Portuguese and not knowing how safe the area is. It's not, it's not like super unsafe, but it's not safe. Like you can't, like I, she can't just like walk around, you know? Uh, but yeah, she was like asking Joe, like, how do we get back? Like what airports do we fly through? Like what, <laughs> what do we do? I felt so bad. Um, but yeah, it was, I, I had no problems. Like obviously didn't get anything stolen. No, I didn't get mugged. Like everyone was really nice. Um, I bought a bunch of stuff. Uh, as gifts for people. Um, I bought a bunch of stuff from that indigenous people made. I bought a bunch of stuff from local communities. Um, and I bought some other fun stuff too. Um, I guess I could show you all the stuff that I got. The goats love the flute. I got Connor a, uh, a slide whistle from that, that community of like 17 families. I feel really bad. I had to apologize to Kayla. Overall, the experience was amazing. The Amazon rainforest is amazing. Um, it is a trip of a lifetime kind of thing. It was really, really humbling um, to be around people that live there and are studying those animals, ornithologists, biologists, master students, you know, that are like actually there doing the research um, and to be a part of it. And it's it's such important work. Um, and my job is to, to teach people about that work so that people know what's going on. Um, and so it was just like a real honor you know, to learn from them and then to be able to use my platform uh, to teach people about what they're doing because I genuinely, I think it's so vital. It's so important. So it was really cool to be a part of that. Um, also, one of the biggest takeaway, I learned a lot um, in, in general, but did you eat acai? Okay, yes I did. Uh, I, have a, I have an American problem because acai here tastes like jamba juice and it's like really, really sweet. And I had acai in Brazil once, and there's like no sugar in it at all. And I was really alarmed. Um, but that's, you know, me being an American and being addicted to sugar, I guess. I didn't have Dr. Pepper for two weeks. I had my first one yesterday. Frick, what was I? Oh, 
I learned a lot, like a lot about conservation, a lot about the birds and a lot about, just like in general, I had a lot of really great conversations with some pretty amazing people. Um, but one of the things that I think I had to go there to learn, and I'm really, really glad I learned, is visiting local communities and visiting indigenous communities. I've always heard organizations like Rainforest Alliance and Amazon Watch talk about how important it is to support the people that are living there um, and support the livelihoods of people that are living in the Amazon or living in other rainforest rainforests. Um, and I never understood it until I went there and saw them and met them. So I learned how important it is to support the livelihoods of the people sharing that land um, firsthand, which is really important for conservation. I think it's something that I've been, it's a puzzle that I think I've been missing in my conservation brain for a long time. Um, okay, so I got staff, my staff, a bunch of these things. They're uh, little figures made out of wood. Um, they make them out there, they're cool. There's a manatee. Um, there's a, they have pink river dolphins out there. Saw some of them, really cool. Um, so pink river dolphin, another manatee, little manatee. So I brought these back for staff at Alveus. Um, I got this for my mom. <laughs> it's a sloth and it has a baby on it. It is head, like it's a baby and you hang it. This is for my mom. I got this at uh, that community with the 17 families, the really small one. I spent like 100 USD at this community. Eduardo thought I was nuts. Um, I got this for my brother and his wife. It's a pink river dolphin bottle opener because she loves dolphins. I got these for my niece and nephew. <laughs> Pink River Dolphin and the Grey River Dolphin because they have both in the Rio Negro. Uh, it has the Brazil tag, cute. The stuffies. I got these at a market um, that we went to. I got these for my sister from that community. They, they make them out of acai. Um, it's a uh, see little sticks and then they dye the sticks. They are heat resistant, so they're hot pads the kitchen. I got this for my sister and her girlfriend. Um, Brazil nuts for my dad. Uh, I got this stuff for cutie. Uh, this is, it's like a little boat and it has candy because she said she wanted candy. And then um, I got her beads because you know how cutie is with her beads, except these are made out of acai. They dye them. Uh, I got this for my boyfriend's brother. It's a slingshot. It's a little splintery, but I think that makes it nice and authentic. Pretty cool. It's either gonna be like the best slingshot ever, or it's gonna be a piece of shit. I don't know. Um, I got his girlfriend beads as well because she likes crafting more as I need. Um, I got some candies. That's some these are the candies. I don't really know what they are. I think they're like chocolate ones. Fruit and chocolate candies. This is what I got for uh, Peach and Rune. I haven't told them that I got them anything. So don't go tell Peach that I got her these things. Or Rune. <laughs> but I got them hairpins. Um, there's a manatee one and a fish one because Peach likes fishing. Um, and I got them earrings too. These are for peach and these are for rune. These are cool. They're like little trees with stones. Um, I don't know if peach's hair is long enough for a hairpin, but whatever. Here was my, oh, look, this is my holy grail. I got this for myself at that community. It's a purse. And it has freaking Brazilian animals on it. Look, there's a sloth. I saw sloths out there and birds, sloth, and butterfly, and parrots. Um, there's also a tiger, which makes no sense, but ignore that. Um, isn't that cool? So cool. I have an earring haul, okay? I decided the earrings out there, hey Bryce, the earrings out there are just way 
way cooler than they are here and I could not stop. Ask Joe, it was crazy. I, every time we went somewhere, they were like, another pair of earrings? And I was like, yes, I have bought so many earrings. Okay, um, one, these, this is uh, Arapaima, which is, do you know what Arapaima is? No. It's this giant fish, yeah, yeah, it's this giant fish, they're huge, huge, right? Um, and they eat a lot of them out there because they're they're in the freshwater rivers. Um, and they're obviously massive and their scales are really big. So this is a byproduct of the fish that they eat. Um, and they use the scales to make earrings. Let me take them out so you can see through the plastic. You can see like the texture of the scales and then they and then they dye them. You see their fish scales. So cool. <laughs> they're so pretty. Earrings, earring number one. Earring number two. Are you freaking kidding me? It's ridiculous. Look at these. They're beautiful. They're beaded. Freaking beautiful. Amazing. These ones, the other ones in there somewhere. These I got from that community as well. I don't remember what they're made out of. I got this bracelet. It's made out of a a pit, like a, a nut pit or a fruit pit, and they cut them up and they dye them. Thought it was pretty. You're gonna lose your minds. Look at this. Oh, it's Brazil nuts. Cool. It's freaking Tico. Hello? Tico. Beaded Tico. And then look at these. There's little trees in there, and the trees have little rocks. Anyway, they're very cool. Um, I, I got a lot of earrings. I'm very excited about the earrings. I got myself a hairpin as well. Whoever made it, like, wood burned. I think it says more. I think that's what it says. <laughs> I don't know, I just thought it was cute, because it was a heart. And then I already gave my boyfriend stuff. His favorite animal is a toucan. And they have toucans out there, so they have a ton of toucan stuff. So I got him like a keychain and a little figurine and um, salad tools that are uh, toucan shaped. They're really cute. Um, so that's my, that's my haul. Hairpins, look at your WhatsApp. <laughs> Thank you, Eduardo just sent me a picture of this bug. That's a nice bug out there, dude. I can't believe I'm missing that. <laughs> That's a nice bug. Thank you. This is how a hairpin works. I'm gonna mess it up, but look, can you see the back of my head right now? I can't see you. Can you see, can you see the back of my head right now? Yes or no? You spin it a little bit, then you put the pin in here, then you go wah, 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 and then you go like this, then you go wah, then you go And it's in there, except I did too low, so- ah! Wait, I'm going again. This is my first hint hairpin, okay? Nobody freak out. Okay, freaking stand by on me going to watch tutorials of hairpins so that I have to spin it the other way in the Northern Hemisphere. Oh, frick, you're so right. Of course. Hello? What is going on? Why is this working and now it's not working? Man, this only works in Brazil. Forget it. Things that are happening this month. Collabs that are happening this month. Should be, I don't have a date for it yet, but we should have Super TF coming out here this month. We have Trihex coming out again this month um, because uh, Antivenom wants to see it. And so we're gonna do just like a tour, not a full on collab, uh, but it'll be pretty chill. So we'll have Super TF, we have Trihex, and we have Jack Manifold, again, who may or may not be bringing Tommy in it, and may or may not be bringing Jan Dan Clancy. All of that is happening this month. Um, I'm gonna do another, like, maybe, I don't know if it's gonna be animal sex or what, but I'm gonna do another one of those streams this month because it was doing, it's doing really well on YouTube. I don't know if you guys have seen that. Um, it's like 500 something K on YouTube. Um, so I'm gonna do another one of those this month. 
Uh, I'm going to say the new ambassador this month. Um, I we have Winnie's birthday this month on March 22nd, and so many YouTube videos from Brazil, like six YouTube videos from Brazil. Not all this month, once a week. Um, so next couple months, which would be really great. Packed month, yeah. Everything's going good. I'm really happy to be back. Uh, thanks for not leaving forever. So I was gone for two weeks. Um, I hope you guys entertained yourselves on the, uh, the Alveas channel. This month, I will be streaming Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 12 p.m. CT. You'll see me there Monday, Wednesday on my channel, Friday on the Alveas channel. Someone asked if Variety Wednesday is coming back. Interesting you bring that up. I asked Wojito to come up with some stream ideas, like to, to jot some down. And one of his ideas was call all of the former collaborators that have come to Alveas and test them and then rank them. Or like, or like put them on a tier list. And I was like, that's a really good idea. <laughs> so I messaged like 15 people on Twitter yesterday, asked for their phone numbers. Um, so I'm gonna do that coming up. You said in March you were taking much needed time off. No, I said March would be easier than February. 